It is time once again for more Minecraft bingo and perhaps encouraged by my previous success trying to black out a random card. I'm going to do it yet again. And yeah, talk about some of the variability and possibilities along the way, I think. There's an emerald and a cake on this card, but there was an emerald and a cake on the last card. Got the cookie and the glistering melon, the golden apple, the book and quill, Three diamonds for the diamond axe. This is a reasonably difficult card, but it's still within the realm of possibility. And so, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. At this point, I've done enough <laughs> that I'm a little less worried about thinking through all the details right at the beginning and getting a little bit more comfortable with just kind of playing it by ear as we go on. And so that is what I will choose to do. Let's see, we have the golden apple. We can always craft it if we don't manage to find it. And I will need two squid ink for the book and quill and for the what do you call. And I need an acacia sapling, not a spruce sapling. So it doesn't really matter which direction I go. So I think this one is a direction that's kind of closest to getting to shore and a tree. And I can also see some exposed stone right over here. So we'll get things started off in this direction and see what we can manage to do. So yeah, I was thinking about it. I haven't actually like plotted out all of my scores or whatever, um, but the scores for the cards that I have finished on my first, I guess I finished five of six attempts or something, and one was just going really badly, and so it was likely to take you know more than an hour or something. Um, of the ones that I finished, it's kind of between that 37 minutes and something score that I got before and closer to an hour. And there is a high degree of variability, obviously, uh, among those scores. And the variability comes from multiple sources. Um, I guess one of the biggest ones is the particular card that you get. And, you know, the card defines the particular items that you're going to get, and there are definitely some items that are easier to get than others, and you happen to get really lucky and get a really easy card. Uh, you would obviously get a better time as a result of that. So that is one source of variability. Obviously, another source of variability uh, comes from the spawn point that you end up with gonna go ahead and bake oops I was thinking yeah let's get two more pieces so I can make a furnace as well uh, the spawn point and just kind of the terrain that you end up starting at um, is also another obvious source of variability oh look at this I got two apples right off the bat from one little oak tree all right well that was that was some luck in my favor uh, we'll worry about squids later I think I am gonna need mushroom stew so let me go ahead and grab Brown mushroom here. I'm only going to need that. I don't see a fermented spider eye, and I do need some clay. So let's go ahead and grab that as well. And let me get some kind of block on the bar. Even if I've only got one piece of it right now, I'm going to need glass bottles, so we'll get that. Yeah, let me work on getting a few initial things before I talk more about sources of variability and gameplay and different things. Um... So I'm going to need to look for a jungle at some point. Uh, I need to keep my eyes out for pumpkins in case we see pumpkin seeds. Uh, chickens are right here, and I'm going to need a feather. I am also going to need an egg. And so if I can find a good thing around here, I could hang around here and see if the chickens are going to lay. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and kill one of them. Wow. <laughs> I hit him with an axe, and he didn't die. He's indestructo chicken. All right, I managed to get that. And let's just look around. Ooh, there's acacia, and I need acacia saplings. And I see the red mushroom over here. Yeah, let's keep moving in this direction. For now, uh, I see some holes. I just want to make sure there isn't like a spawner visible right there. Although I probably would have heard spawn monsters if there were. And in terms of other surface things to go after immediately, I guess food. I've not been killing. Sheep are not bad, but I wouldn't mind. I'm going to need cows anyway, and so I wouldn't mind trying to find some cows or some pigs. 
for some even better food. And we still have plenty of daylight, and so I think I'll travel a little bit farther and see if we can get some of the better food animals. So that I'll need fewer of them. Here is a very easy to access squid or pocket of squids. I said I was going to need two ink. And I got one. <laughs> oh, the sounds they make when they die. It's still just, I get a real kick out of it. Okay, and then we were headed over here to get the acacia sapling. And see if we can find any other different food animals. Uh, these acacias are a little bit high up, but don't have to travel too far to get them. And if I want saplings, let's chop down the stuff at the top. And then once I have this decaying, I think I'll go ahead and set down a furnace and cook up a couple small things that I need right now. Um, and then also craft a couple of things that I need. And so I can get uh, these three cooking with that. I can craft the mushroom stew already, so let's do that. I have, I think, a very relaxed attitude in this one so far, um, which is kind of what I'm going for, because a few people talked about how they enjoy these videos as kind of like a relaxing thing before they go to bed or something on certain days, and so that's kind of what I'm aiming for. I'm going to need one brick, and so I can use that to cook it, and let's see. Yeah, if we get the sapling... Yeah, then it's mostly the food animals that I'll want to focus on. So let's do that. We can go ahead and craft the gas glass bottles. Kind of throw the extras off the side over here. And yeah, then I think I'll be ready to get moving once again. And let's go ahead and throw away the extra clay that I don't need anymore. And let's travel a little bit further this way. I guess I can get a cactus because it looks like there's going to be some desert over here. And actually, here's an opportunity to get flint. Someone had commented on one of my previous videos that I was looking for gravel to get flint uh, at a time when I was carrying a bunch of gravel around in my inventory. And the thing about gravel in your inventory is you need to place it <laughs> before you can actually uh, use it. And so uh, placing gravel like takes extra time. And so if you find a pocket of gravel just on the ground... Oh, I hear spiders. I think it was right around here. I don't need the red flower, since I happen to see it right now. It's in the forefront of my mind. Um, I think the spider might be right beside me. Or maybe he's right here. Uh, there's the spider. He does not appear to be associated with the spawner. He has no spawner association ties, since there is some iron right here. going to take a moment to go ahead and get a little bit of that cooking. And since I have a couple of apples, I can eat one just to get some regen going. But I'm going to hold on to the other one in case I need it for golden apples. And I wasn't planning to come down into a cave, but just since I heard the spider so close to the surface, just had to check and see if it might be a spawner. And since I'm down here, okay, no other awesome resources. We'll get a couple pieces of coal since we'll be likely to need them. But we'll get back out of here quickly. Uh, that's about to finish, and so we'll have three pieces of iron, which I can use for the future. And the gravel I'm not going to need, so let's use it to stack up for now. Then I can hold on to the better other blocks for non-gravity purposes in the future. And I'm going to keep traveling. We're running out of daylight, but I'm going to keep traveling before I try to kill any animals, just hoping that I get some animals that I desire more. That will be more efficient. And actually, since we have the iron already, and I see the vine right here, let's go ahead and cross it off. I think in terms of, speaking of things of efficiency, in terms of my own efficiency, one of the things I struggle with is keeping track of all the different things that are on the card that I need to get. And so to the extent that I can cross a bunch of things off early, uh, it will be to my advantage to do so, because then I can update the card and have fewer things to worry about. I'm still not seeing cows or pigs. I realize we just saw a bunch of chickens, and I may end up going back there to kind of hang out and let them lay an egg. Uh, but I really need to get some food animals before then. 
And I could have done more mushroom stew or some other things, but I'm just taking a little bit of a risk. Here we go. That looks like piggies. You were just the guys I wanted to find, piggies. Kablam! Kapow! <laughs> Bazinga! Uh, whatnot and etc. Okay, let's go ahead and get some of them cooking. And... Yeah, at this point there were some... It looks like there might be a cave over here, actually. Uh, maybe just a collapsed in area. There were some chickens just over the horizon up there. Uh, and so I might end up going back that way. The sun is about to go down, so this could be a good time to go downstairs. I never got the Acacia's Happling, did I? Uh, let's go ahead and update the card. Yep, that was a foolish thing to do. I do have the cactus that I can cook up. I need to get more furnaces going. It's something that I really need to do. Ooh, and I hear zombie, and I just realized there's a cave right over here. Okay, so that could definitely work in my favor. Oop, I see a creeper too. Do I need creeper dust? I do. Hey, buddy. All right, you're the one. Nope, <laughs> you're not the one. All right, but he did give me a whole bunch of very cheap cobble. And I hear a bunch of other monsters down here. So it sounds like we have some big caves, which could be good once I have the food going a bit better. And yeah, let me go ahead and craft another furnace. And let's go ahead and cook the cactus to get it out of my inventory. And then I can cook up some more iron as well. And once I kill, yeah, the skeleton, I could get that. In any case, I think we are sufficiently prepared that we could do some uh, downstairs over here. So we'll head downstairs in just a moment. Don't need any more cactus. I don't think I need the spider eye. And just in case I need that, you know what? I might need more wood. So let's go ahead and grab one more tree before we head downstairs. But then I think I'm gonna dig down. And let's go ahead and make myself an iron pick before we dig down so that we can dig down more efficiently. All right, this one is sufficiently done. And I'll take this, and that one's just about to finish up. Okay, great. And I am gonna dig straight down. We'll take a risk with that. And let's see, what are my goals downstairs? Lapis, diamonds. We're not in extreme hills, which is less than ideal. Uh, we're kind of waiting on the chickens that I saw over there to produce some eggs. Okay, and we're down at layer, like, 24 already, and I hear some zombies very nearby. So let's see if we can dig over to them. Here we go. Great. Um, let's even do one of these dealios. Don't really care about the spawner. I just care about the loot that's in the boxes. And it looks like in this instance, I can probably get it right through the wall right over here. Uh, let's be careful. Uh, there's the chest. There we go. Hey, golden apple. All right. There's something taken care of. There's the uh, creeper dust, which is great. And melon seeds I may actually need, and so I should take both of those. And then I would like to see uh, if there is another chest in here. And I don't think I see one. And so rather than deal with those zombies, there could be baby zombies who are going to be coming after me. But I'm just going to start stair-stepping down now and see if we can find um, yeah, some of the other resources that we're looking for downstairs. And what level am I at right now? 16 already, so that's 15, 14. And I think I hear some lava too. So hopefully that means we'll find a little cave down here at the diamond layer. I think I'm about at the right level. Oops. Um, let's see. It's a little bit, a little bit tedious digging through this. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself one set of torches, which I can use for a variety of things. But let's head over in this direction. There's definitely lava nearby. There it is. Great. And you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and get. 
Some things cooking up again. There's redstone. Okay, I'm going to need that, I'm sure. Even though I don't know what for. Um, what I want to do is cook up some more iron. And also cook up some more food and probably some other things. Uh, but I'd like to get a bucket. Um, yeah, obviously I don't have the water source handy right now. Would have been good to do that earlier. Um, but in the meantime... We can get by other ways. See a little bit more iron over here, so we'll dig through it. I talked in a previous episode, I think, that the ideal place to mine iron and coal is down at the diamond layer, because that way you're digging blocks that might happen to get lucky and, for example, expose this lapis right here, which is something that I needed, and now I don't. <laughs> and let's see, uh, this is already done cooking, and I could probably, I guess I'll cook that up because I can't think of what else to cook up. Uh, I'm going to need a redstone repeater, and so I could cook up the um, smooth stone. So let's do that next, actually. And we'll get that on the bar so I can go ahead and eat it right now. But we'll get three pieces of smooth stone cooking up. And then, once again, I'm trying to optimize just getting things off the card as soon as possible. Um, and so the smooth stone will take like another 20 seconds to, to go. And so I'm also I'm trying to get away from where that zombie spawner was in terms of where I'm choosing to dig just so that I won't uh, run into kind of a horde of zombies later on. And let's see. Yeah, I'm going to need to update the card again shortly. We're going to need to go back to get uh, an acacia sapling once again on the surface, but that should be easy to get. But at some point we'll need to get into extreme hills. I don't think there were any extreme hills near where I dug down. Okay, but here's gold. I already got the golden apple, and so I guess I only need the one piece of gold for the uh, glistering melon. And so I'm pretty sure I'm good on gold. So let's go ahead and get... Oops, apparently I ran out of wood in here. Uh, we'll do that and that. Uh, I'm going to need a crafting table out. Um, the crafting table is probably going to catch fire no matter where I put it. So I'm actually I'm going to put it way over here. And just let it burn. And let's go ahead and craft this up now that I have this. And let's see. I have some other things I can craft. I'm not going to need any of that. Don't have anything else I need to cook up right now, I don't think. Uh, but let's go ahead and craft. What was the other thing I just saw that I could make? I have lots of this. So I can go ahead and make that. Uh, we'll wait until we get a chest for the other. I should have that on the bar. Uh, can I go ahead and eat this already? Possibly. And I don't care about that. And we don't seem to be finding the diamonds right now. Is there anything else that I need from downstairs? No, we can find the diamonds elsewhere. So I think I'm going to head back upstairs at this point. And I think I'm just going to pillar up where I went down. Uh, if there's no baby zombies, I should be completely safe. Um... And, yeah, once we get back up to the surface, we're going to check on our chickens to get our eggs. I should have crafted a uh, bucket, even just for a water bucket. That would have been a smart thing to do. So that's one error I made while I was still at the crafting table. I should have done that. Ooh, I hear a slime. If we had needed a slime ball, it would have worked out for us today. Okay, there's the slime. He's actually a very dangerous enemy, so let's run away from him. Yep, just hit me. All right, I believe... Oh, crap! There is a skeleton. Uh, with the slime nearby, I'm not going to fight the skeleton. I'm instead... I think the chickens that I saw were, like, over in this direction. There's a chicken. So let's go grab an egg. Hello, chicken. Where are your comrades? One of whom has undoubtedly laid an egg by now. Okay, here, baby zombie. Uh, I don't need these gold, so I'm going to get rid of them. I don't need extra lapis, so I'm going to get rid of them. We still need to find cows. We still need to find a jungle. Here's an egg. Great. Uh, and I don't think I need more than one, but I'm grabbing two just in case. And we are going to need an ender pearl. So if we see an enderman, we should try to take an opportunity to kill him. I've already got bones, so I don't need to kill skeletons, honestly. I should just avoid them. And it's often the case that the best way to find a jungle is to get in a boat, and so I think I am likely to try to do that. 
Um, I've already gotten my creeper dust, so I don't need to kill any creepers. Yeah, avoiding monsters rather than fighting them is another kind of good overall Minecraft bingo strategy, I think. I'm not sure that I have any sugar cane yet, and I happen to see some right over there. So assuming no one is sneaking up on me, let's go ahead and let's make a few boats, because I tend to use them a lot. Uh, and wood is a relatively cheap resource, he says, picking up his crafting table. But I'm going to go over here and grab the sugar cane, because I'm going to need it both for paper and for the um, cake. So there's two reasons I want this, and this is not going to be enough sugar cane, so we're going to keep looking for sugar cane. And we're still looking for that jungle, and we're still looking for cows, both for some more better food and for the leather. And am I going to need one piece of leather or two? I need two, because I need the item frame in addition to the book. And I should really update the card. Right, and I need to find another desert so I can get the acacia sapling once more. So I'll try to remember that as well. I see more sugar cane over here, and I see my... I see everything I was just talking about. That's terrific. Okay. So yeah, sources of variability. The terrain generator. There's obviously a lot of luck, not only in terms of where you spawn, but additionally in terms of, you know, what direction you choose to go. Because right from the outset, you know, you could go north, you could go south, you could go east, you could go west. Um, and each of those are likely to have very different outcomes uh, in terms of the resources that you will find. Uh, my inventory has managed to fill up again, so let me clear out a couple of things that I don't need. Uh, I like most of this inventory. Um, I'll be able to make the book. I guess I can make the book right now, actually, and that would clear up a bunch of things out of my inventory. So let's take a moment. I'm also going to make a bunch of sticks so that I can make the item frame, like so. Let's make the book, like so. Let's turn it into a book and quill, like so. It also reminds me that I can take bone meal and combine it with this, like so, and get this out of my inventory. And I'm gonna need a couple pieces of sugar for the cake, so I'm gonna go ahead and transform them right now. And then the rest of the sugar, I don't need for anything, right? Right. So I'm gonna toss it out. Hopefully that's not a mistake. I don't think it is. And I've been talking about the bucket of water. Let's get a bucket of water right now. I'm gonna need the buckets later for the cake anyway. So we'll do that. Okay, and now would be a great time also to update the card, because the advantage of getting all these items means I can update the card and see the things that I'm missing. Okay. Uh, fishing is something else I need to do. I will do it once we find something else that we need to wait on. What else are we going to need to wait on? Not sure right at the moment. Uh, Acacia sapling, yes, here's an acacia sapling opportunity. And that's something that we need to wait on, great. So I'm gonna chop down an acacia tree or two, and then I'm gonna go fishing. And that way we'll be kind of optimizing our time. All right, acacia tree, down you go. All right, I think that will be likely to be enough. If not, we can chop down another tree. But let's go ahead and make the fishing rod. And yeah, that also had the advantage of getting me some more wood because I'd spent just about all of mine. And I could be cooking anything. A little bit of food. My food situation is still not bad, so I'm not going to worry about it just yet. And once I get the acacia sapling, pumpkin seeds are definitely something I need to keep an eye out for. I still do need a bit of iron for the cake and for the irony things. And obviously the emerald... Yeah, the cookie, I guess the jungle is now my uh, long pole on this card. So we need to find a jungle so that we can get the cookie and hopefully the melon. If not, we could grow the melon. Actually, I could have been trying to grow the melon here, but that's okay. Great, got that. Let's go back and get the sapling this time rather than forget about it. Show me a sapling. There we go. Great. And yeah, let's get a boat on the bar and let's go sailing once again. Continuing to look for the jungle. So the train generator is another huge source of variability. There's also kind of like things embedded in the train generator, things like dungeon chests. 
Uh, you know, you might get a dungeon chest that had a golden apple like I found, which was one of the items that we needed, and so it saved us from needing to find a whole bunch of gold. Uh, or you might get unlucky. Things like fishing are also kind of, you know, just part of the random number generation that goes along with the game. And what I find interesting is that the there is so much randomness, and I do think that there is a large luck-based component to this game. But nevertheless, if you go back and, you know, check on the history of players like Burgasms and how they perform in the 25-minute challenge. He is an example of someone who does consistently well, and so that demonstrates to us that despite the large amount of kind of luck and variability that's kind of inherent to the game, it's still the case that there is a huge skill component, um, because if there were not, it wouldn't be the case that there could be these skilled players who can consistently get very good scores and very good times on different bingo cards. Um, and so it's the, oh, I just heard an Enderman. So, yep, here we go. Oh, he's right by a, okay, the dungeon seems to be closed off. So I think I'll be safe. Let's do this. Hey, buddy, come get angry. And are there things I could get out of the dungeon that would be useful to me? Yes, pumpkin seeds is one. So long as there's at least one useful possibility. I will go ahead and take on the dungeon. It looks like there's two chests in here, and so I think I am going to go ahead and kill the guys in here. Just so I can inspect the chests unmolested. I don't need the book for anything. I don't think I need any more redstone. More melon seeds could be useful. Uh, one piece of bread will be useful just for extra food. This will also be good for extra food, so let's grab it. And the pumpkin seeds, great. One of the things I was just talking about. All right. And there's actually a piece of wheat over here as well. Okay, great. Um, we're still looking for a jungle. So yeah, in any case, um, players who do consistently well are evidence that should suggest to us... Uh, at this point, do I have enough? I don't have enough for all the buckets. Yeah, it's going to say I could stop and get my milk buckets, but we can do that later. Evidence for the fact that there still is a large skill component in this game, despite the large randomness component. Um, and yeah, things like the 25-minute challenge are places where the the luck can even out over time. And doing this as a blind, uh, you know, blackout card, uh, since it's even more time, gives kind of like more opportunities for the luck to even out over time. Did I see a jungle over here? No, I do see extreme hills. And so I should be considering if I should be headed downstairs. Let's also take a quick peek down here in case there's anything obviously amazing. The bottom of a ravine, I don't see it. This does look like a large section of extreme hills. And so this could be a great opportunity to go after the emerald. Is this actually going anywhere? Not yet. Um, let me pull up F3. Yeah, this looks like a pretty big extreme hills over here. And I feel like since I'm here and we get, well, I could find it in a jungle temple too. Extreme hills in the emerald, I feel like I could go for last. Um, I feel like the jungle, especially while it's still daylight and it's easy to traverse the surface, the jungle is probably more important for me to spend my time trying to find. Here's ice spikes. Uh, and we have our thesis about ice spikes versus jungles. They are a wet biome, and wet biomes do try to generate together, and the jungle is also a wet biome. And so there's at least some potential foundation for why ice spikes and jungles could often appear near one another. I don't see a jungle there. There's my ice spikes. Let's try going. I hmm. guess it still kind of stays wet over here, although I see... Hmm. I'm not seeing the jungle this time. Yeah, not seeing a jungle. I do see more extreme hills over there. It's definitely getting dry over here. There's pumpkins if we hadn't just found the pumpkin seeds. I'm choosing to travel this way simply because I can uh, jump, skip across the ice extremely quickly. So I cover a lot of ground. Um, and so that's a reason to kind of prefer some frozen terrain in Minecraft Bingo if you're trying to travel and discover a lot of biomes. All right, but I am not seeing the jungle. 
And if we happen to go through a desert over here, we might find a desert pyramid, which could net us diamonds and emeralds. So that's a minor possible value that could come out of going through that kind of terrain. But I think it's time to get a boat out once again. The sun is going down. There are some cows over here, and this appears to be an extreme hills biome over here. Uh, let's make sure it actually is extreme hills. It is. Uh, and so I think at this point, uh, it would probably be good for me to head down and do some caving underneath the extreme hills and try to get the underground things that we need to get. And then we can come back upstairs and milk the cows. And so I think if I go this way, yeah, I'm already in extreme hills now. So we'll take a risk digging down. I've got a bucket on the bar, and so if we happen to fall, I might be able to catch myself with that. And... Oh, I hear water. Although now it's passed by. All right, that's fine. And since some of the things we need are diamonds... Okay, I hear lava, so I'm going to start staircasing down. But I am going to go down to the lava layer. Sounds like the lava is kind of all around, and that's to our advantage. So that means we could be in a little cave system at the diamond layer, maybe? Show me a cave, please. Actually, show me diamonds. I don't care so much about the cave. What I really want is the diamonds, and I'm still in extreme hills, right? Yes. In fact, oh, there's more lapis. Sometimes lapis is really hard to find, and I found it twice already in this one. Oops. I had not considered that. Let's go ahead make ourselves a new diamond pick. Be aware of the fact that we need to get a fair bit more iron. And yeah, actually the iron will definitely help cross out a few things rather quickly. If I see myself exit extreme hills, I'm going to make a turn. I think I hear some lava to my right. Yeah, it's getting louder as I move forward. Here we go. Great. Okay, the diamond can be found anywhere, so let me turn off F3 for just a second and focus on the diamond. And then we'll go back and focus on the emerald in a short bit if we haven't already found it. Sounds like there's a zombie dungeon above me somewhere. Got a little bit of a lag spike there. That guy would probably continue to harass me for a while if I didn't deal with him. Um, zombie, do you want to go fight him? Apparently you do not. Alright, skeleton. I will deal with you as well. Because I want to explore this cave. My, um, axe is on its last legs. So I'm going to go ahead and craft a new one, because I have been using it a whole lot as a weapon. And I'm going to throw out stack of blocks that I don't need right now. I do need the iron, so let's grab this. And that means throwing out some more blocks, but that's fine. Got plenty. And there were still other directions to the diamond layer that I could go here, and obviously digging this up could also be valuable, because we could find diamonds underneath and we need the iron anyway. Uh, let's try not to open up the area with all the zombies, ideally. I don't think I see diamonds over there, but there still was a direction this way, as I recall. Let's get rid of this guy, who could also harass me for a bit. And are we still in extreme hills? We are no longer in extreme hills, so going up this way is not going to help us in terms of finding the emerald. So I'm going to get back into extreme hills, back at the diamond layer, and yeah, just pick a direction to dig. And actually, while I'm digging, let me go ahead and set down my furnaces and get this iron cooking. Oops, cooked outside the window. Hopefully that didn't mess up the recording. I think it's still going okay. Here's an emerald. Hooray. Okay, there is one thing taken care of. And now that I don't need to worry about extreme hills, I could go anywhere looking for the diamond. Uh, I'll do a little bit more strip whining while I have the iron cooking up. 
And I'm just gonna try to do the math of how much iron I still need. The iron's cooked up, so let's go ahead and craft a couple other items. Uh, I do have enough wood that I don't mind crafting a chest in order to make a hopper. So we can get that. Let's go ahead and make rails. And now at this point, I think it would behoove me to update the card. So let's do that. Right, so we still need more buckets for the cake. Um, and with the means I'm still going to need more iron, and then obviously we need the diamonds. And the melons, uh, I should have left the melons growing upstairs. That would have been a smart thing to do. But unfortunately I did not do it. Oh well. In terms of sources of variability, obviously another one is getting lucky and finding diamonds. That doesn't seem to be happening to me today. Trying to be efficient in terms of being able to look in a lot of different places very quickly. Uh, but the diamonds just don't seem to want to come to me today. Okay, at this point I'm about to run out of iron pickaxe. And so I think I'm going to give up on the diamonds. I'm going to head straight back upstairs. And we're going to try to get the other items and hope that when we find a jungle, we get extremely lucky. And we find a jungle temple, and the jungle temple has three diamonds in it. Because I think that's my only hope now of getting a great score. And so I'll meet you guys on the surface. I have returned to the surface. I hear cows. And so I believe we can get something else crossed off the list. I think I still need another piece of wheat in order to do it. And so I'm going to try to grab a seed over here. That should be good. Let me get a crafting table out and figure out exactly what I need to do. Let me also get these two out of my inventory. And oops, there we go. And I'm going to need more wheat actually because I'm going to need them for the uh, cookie later on once we find the jungle as well. So let me go ahead and get that wheat done as well. Great. But now I can dump out my water bucket and grab a milk bucket and a couple more milk buckets. There we go. And then go milk, 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 sugar, egg, sugar, wheat, wheat, wheat. And we have a cake, hooray. I like cake, it's yummy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and with that done, at this point I think we need two jungle items and the uh, diamonds, and we're going to hope to find them all in a jungle near a jungle temple. I found the jungle! Okay, what are the chances that we will get lucky again and find a jungle temple again, and furthermore, have that jungle temple contain three diamonds? The melon I could always grow if I need to, because I have all the ingredients. Uh, if we find the melon, that's a bonus. If we don't find it, that's okay. There could also be like a desert pyramid right over here that could contain the diamonds. So there's multiple chances of getting super lucky with diamonds elsewhere. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this just so I can get it out of my inventory right now. And I'd forgotten that I had the golden apples. Let's have them on the bar, because I might not actually need them for food. In a little bit. I had killed some sheep just to get some extra food. Okay, so we're looking for melons and then we're looking for something amazing that will give us uh, diamonds easily. Don't see a pyramid right there. Do I see any melons? Otherwise I can grow them. Is that a melon here? No. So yeah, in this case, I do feel like that luck was not working on my favor with regards to the diamonds. The rest of the run, it took me a little bit of a long time to find a jungle, uh, but that wasn't probably too far off of the average. And let's see, did I have good luck on any particular things I can think of? I probably did, but can't think of what those, what those things are right at the moment. Uh, there is more jungle over here where there could be melons and there could be a temple. So let me continue looking over here, but then I'll stop and find a place to just go ahead and plant the seeds that we have. And since it's about to turn nighttime, 
I guess I'll wait a little bit before I bother eating one of the gold apples. But I'll probably do that both for the food component and also just to give me a little bit of extra protection against the various monsters that will undoubtedly be beginning to spawn here in the nighttime. Night is dark and full of terrors. Ah, all right. I don't think I see a melon, and I don't see anywhere great to farm the melon at the moment. Just looking for some flat grass that's near the water. And not seeing it. And then I'm going to have to go downstairs to finish things off with the diamond anyway. And does it matter? I guess anywhere that's near a cave. So I guess somewhere I can plant a melon near a cave is probably a good spot to stop. So let's see if we can find... Okay, here's a good spot to plant the melon. Uh, actually, no, I'm not down at the water layer here. I definitely I want the, the soil kind of soaked through with water, ideally. And now we're getting into ice, so there's not going to be soil next to water. Um, I should really be stopping to do these things, probably. I threw out the cookies, which probably wasn't the best idea. But I do have some other things I can eat before I go after the golden apples. Alright, I see... I think... Yeah, this is a good spot to plant melons. Right over here. So we're going to plant our melons. Hey, creeper. Please don't ruin the terrain. I chose this terrain because it's good melon terrain. Uh, I still have this. And I forget how many seeds I have. Uh, I have five seeds. Wow. All right. I'm kind of making a mess of this. Let's just go ahead and plant my melon seeds. Do, 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 do. Kind of all around. And we will mature them with the bone meal. And light. Let me get the light before I forget anything else. Okay, these melons should have plenty of light. Okay, so one of those should turn into a melon very quickly. And while it does that... I need to get myself somewhere to get diamonds, but I want to come back up and check on the melon, so I'm going to dig myself a staircase. And I'm at 3236 right now. Um, I imagine that by the time it reaches 3320, a melon will have grown. And so I'm going to start staircasing down when it reaches 3220. Sorry, 3320. I'm going to go back up, hopefully grab the melon. Hopefully I still have the gold in my inventory so that we can make the glistering melon. And yeah, then we'll head right downstairs and find a diamond. And actually, I'm gonna need iron for an iron pick again because I think I used up my last iron pick. That's unfortunate, but sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. Here's some iron for an iron pick, terrific. So I'll dig down through this, and I'll go ahead and get the iron cooking up. And while it cooks, it seems like it's a good time to head back upstairs and check on the melon, even though not enough time has passed, based on my initial estimate. Maybe I'll have gotten lucky already, and I did. Hooray. With five melon plants, there was a fairly good chance that that was going to work in my favor. Uh, there's a possibility that the creeper was just there. It's going to come down and ruin my day. So I will do that to make that become an impossibility. Let's go ahead and craft the glistering melon, which I believe will bring us 24 items. Yeah, and now all we need is the Diamonds of Destiny. I'm getting a little bit low on wood, and so I should be aware of that. And there's also a tiny chance that I'm going to need another iron pick, just based on how much I've had to strip mine already. Uh, and so just in case that happens, uh, let's make sure that we have yet yeah, enough iron for a second iron pick, which I'll go ahead and try to craft. 
right while I'm here. So let's grab that. Let's get a second iron pick. I still have the sticks I need for that. I'm going to take the crafting table with me. Um, and I don't need the furnace for anything, I don't think. Okay, so I think we're good. Here's a cave. That's a good start. Show me diamonds. Uh, these are not diamonds. Um, just so I don't have to worry about the zombies kind of following me and harassing me the whole time, I'm going to do that. How about over here? Show me diamonds. This is going up, and we do not like up. And so we're going to pick another direction, and we're going to continue digging. Okay, found a cave, finally. Let's hope there's diamonds in it. There are not. Darn. <laughs> I do think I've been pretty unlucky at this point with the diamonds. I might try to remember at the end of the video to try to summarize how much time I spent digging at y equals 11, just looking for the diamonds. Here's another cave. Let's hope we get luckier with this one. Really want to move this over here. No diamonds here. That's where I dug in. Darn it. Here's the diamonds, finally. Don't look at the Enderman. Oh dear, are there only two? There are only two and I need three. Let's make sure I get the two in my inventory. All right, that's another potential disadvantage of having a diamond ax as opposed to some other diamond item on the card. So you need three diamonds. And doesn't look like found three in my first pile. That is unfortunate. The good news is it does appear to be like a cave system of non-trivial size here. Oh, the lag. Alright, so let's try to look around and see if there's other places that this is going to branch out and head back downwards, hopefully, maybe? Uh, it seems like that's going upwards. That's where we just came in. Yeah, I don't think there are any other branching parts I can take advantage of. I guess I could take a peek up here, just in case this goes somewhere. Uh, that one looks like it's going up. This one... Looks like it could be better, maybe. Do you go anywhere back down? You do not. Darn it. The diamonds just don't want to be nice to me today. Diamonds. Here we go. Caves are definitely the way to go. <laughs> way better than non-caves. And I still have the crafting ingredients to make the diamond axe. Ah, uh, so I got really unlucky on the diamonds. Oh wow, 64 minutes and 12 seconds. I did not realize it took anywhere near that long. I did my math wrong when I was glancing over at the scoreboard. So that was not a good run, but it was mostly unlucky with the diamonds. I'll have to go back and analyze it and see if there was anything else that was particularly bad. I guess it did take us a long time to find the jungle as well. We got reasonably lucky with the emerald. And so this also just helps to inform me on this particular type of card. We're trying to black out everything, and so you can't just ignore one or two items and go for the 23 easiest, for example. Uh, it just is a, another reminder of how important it is to get diamonds uh, as early as possible. And so doing some early caving to kind of just help mitigate the risk of knowing where you stand on the diamonds, as well as the difficulty in finding a jungle on some seeds. So in any case... This has been some more Minecraft Bingo Blackout attempts with Brian. I hope, as always, you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.